OTR Foundation has taken on two abandoned houses. Both were donated. One's now 90% restored. The first home, which is 120 years old, was done entirely with volunteers and donations. The house is now a creative space where activists and nonprofits and community organizers, artists, musicians meet. Uh, we plan, discuss new ideas, and bring new life to a very blighted area. We've created a community center that allows uh, space for educational programs. And we talk about nutrition and healthcare. We have aquaponics, gardening, and uh, teach some computer skills and social media training. We also work with local organizations to help create awareness and reduce teen pregnancy by educating and keeping the students engaged. So our second home, uh, which is the one you're seeing here, we hope to have completed this summer, again with the help of volunteers and other nonprofits. This is also a hundred year old home on a double lot and it's perfect for a music and art center. We have a huge garden. We want to bring kids young and old together so we can share and promote their talent, whether they play, want to learn music, create art, and uh, just mentor each other. So. We'll We'll be hosting outdoor concerts like the one we're having this weekend on May 17. And we have an open mic uh, time slot. We do fun stuff with the kids beforehand. And this time we're planting seeds and painting some little garden signs. We want to keep the locals engaged as families so we can lessen the neighborhood tensions a little bit. Um, now we have a chance to have a third home if we can come up with uh, $3,000 for the back taxes and liens and things. Our plans for that house is to create a media center for broadcasting. Uh, we can do film, video, recording, photography, and an array of other creative and useful courses that uh, we think the kids would love. And we're going to provide them all for free. Now, we're going to try and set up a recording studio in there too. And the OTR Foundation also has uh, a low frequency radio station which we applied for, and we will be broadcasting is 98.5 here in East Pueblo. So we've got a lot of things really working for us with the three houses all in a row pretty well we'll be able to offer uh, all of these things very close together. The goal really is to reclaim these properties in an area that's uh, derelict and abandoned and if we can rehab these houses with volunteers and donations we can create a you know, these spaces which can be used for these kinds of things like media and art and things like that. We feel it's important uh, to teach kids creative arts as well as academic because not all kids learn the same and they should be able to find their passion and it might not be in, uh, you know, the things that the schools offer. So if we can give students and kids help with creative arts, we'll be giving them more control over their lives. We feel that providing the resources to create their own business and do what they love instead of working for someone else at minimum wage. The city has planned a three bowl skate park um, for skateboarders in the area, which is only three blocks away. It's going to be a huge hit, I'm sure. With that is going to be a farmer's market. So we put up a little greenhouse and we have our gardens and we were thinking perhaps we could teach kids have them start their own organic food business and uh, over on 4th Street they're talking about enhancing that as well. So there's lots of things uh, going on around here that are going to make a difference. So this is where OTR Foundation and the Pueblo House need your help. Uh, we're looking for instruments that we can use to teach the kids uh, how to play and we're also looking for funding we need to restore uh, a water main break at the little music and art house that's going to be twenty two hundred dollars and then we need to pay the back liens on the media house which is close to three thousand dollars and then we need supplies so uh, we're trying to raise about seven thousand dollars so that we can do all these things um, and then we're hoping that somebody will come forward and help us renovate the houses <laughs> So we have an opportunity here on 5th Street, uh, 5th Street in Hudson, in Pueblo, to make a difference to a lot of young kids' lives. We're going to bring music, art, documentary making, filming, photography, recording, broadcasting. Uh, within three houses, we can make a huge impact in this area. And so we're hoping that you can help us if you can send 
money our way to help us uh, get these things that we need. That would be awesome if you can give us instruments or anything in kind that would also be great. Um, we look forward to working with you and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The she flies like an angel in the sky at night. She tells me she loves me every night and day. We love her too, but she passed away. Now I'm crying for her. I loved her so much, but now her day has come. She died. Flies like an angel in the sky. At night, at dawn, whenever you want. You can talk to her, cause she's with God.